Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to mark 16 inches on center. This is a useful tutorial for a person that is going to be framing a wall because when you frame a wall, you are likely going to be using the 16 on center format that I'm gonna be showing you right here. So basically your first stud is gonna go right here, okay? Now we are going to measure 16 inches from this end of the wood right here. Now there's a little trick though. If we measure 16 inches, which is right over here, that's gonna be where the center of your next stud is going to be. However, we don't wanna know where the center of our next stud is gonna be. We wanna know where the first little spot of our next stud is going to be. Now each stud that we are going to be placing is one and a half inches thick. Now let's do some math. If it's one and a half inches thick, and it's gonna be 16 inches at the center of the stud, then that means that the beginning of the stud is going to be half of that one and a half inches. Therefore, the beginning of the stud is going to be three quarters of an inch before that 16 inch mark. With that being said, three quarters of an inch before the 16 inch mark is 15 inches and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the tape measure here, I'm gonna to go to 15 and a quarter, and I'm simply going to be marking it out just like that. I'm going to take my speed square right here and I'm going to draw a line at 15 and a quarter. So what I have here is the marking for the beginning of the stud. And what we like to do is we like to just get the pencil and do a little line like that. So that means that the first stud is going to go right here. Then the next stud is going to start right here. And the middle of this stud is going to be 16 inches from here, okay? So the middle of the stud is going to be 16 inches from there. So this tells me that this is the direction, you know, this is the beginning of the stud, and this is where the rest of the stud is going to go. Now I'm going to move the piece of wood down, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to measure 16 inches from this mark right here. What that will do is that will bring us to the beginning of where the next stud needs to go. So I'm going to place this right here, and I'm going to measure 16 inches just like that. I'm going to mark it off just like that, 16 inches. Take my speed square and then just draw a line like that and then draw a line like that. This way I know that this is the beginning of the next stud. This is where it's gonna be. So just to clarify, the first stud goes here, okay? And then we measured 16 inches from here, okay? And we actually, that would be the center of this next stud. So where we placed our mark was at the 15 and a quarter inches because that's gonna be where this stud starts. Okay, that's this line right here. 15 and a quarter inches. Then we drew this so we know that, you know, the rest of the stud is gonna go there. Then we measured 16 inches from here because that allowed us to know where the beginning of the next stud was gonna be and that the next stud would be, you know, going this way. The rest of the stud would be filling in this gap. Then I'm gonna take this measuring tape, I'm gonna place it on that line and we're gonna do 16 inches again. Okay, I'm gonna get my speed square, mark it out. There's a 16 inch mark just like that, draw a line like this, and we know that the next stud is gonna start right here, and it's gonna be, you know, going, filling in this space right here. And you just keep doing that until you get to the end of the wall, and you obviously place, uh, until you get to the end of the piece of wood or the end of the wall frame, and then you place a stud, a stud, you place a stud at the end of the wall frame. But that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to mark 16 inches on center. It's a really easy process, and I've outlined all of the steps for you. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.